As Jharkhand goes into phase one of polling, Prime Minister Narendra Modi urged all the voters to vote in the state with full enthusiasm in the Festival of Democracy. The voting for 43 assembly seats in Jharkhand commenced today with a total of 683 candidates trying their luck, including former Chief Minister Champai Soren and ex-MP Geeta Koda. The Enforcement Directorate conducted raids in 17 locations across Jharkhand and West Bengal, investigating a money laundering case linked to the alleged trafficking of Bangladeshi nationals. The raids, part of an ongoing investigation based on a Jharkhand police FIR, comes just ahead of the assembly elections in both the states. Armies of India and China have agreed to carry out one coordinated patrol every week in the Demchok and Depsang areas in eastern Ladakh sector and have already completed one round of patrolling here. The two sides had started coordinated patrols in the first week of the month after completing disengagement in both Demchok and Depsang in the last week of October. India successfully test-fired its indigenously developed long-range land attack cruise missile from the integrated test range in Orissa's Chandipur. The missile has the, uh, the capability to launch from a military truck and is also configured to launch from Indian and Navy warships. The missile can travel 1,000 km to hit its targets. Donald Trump has chosen South Dakota Governor Christy Noem to lead the Department of Homeland Security, vital to his border security and deportation plans. The department also oversees immigration services, disaster response, the U.S. Secret Service and Transportation Security Administration agents who work at airports. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says President Biden's meeting with President-elect Donald Trump is to ensure a smoother transition. Biden is hosting Trump today, upholding the tradition of a peaceful power transfer, despite Trump's disinterest four years ago. Democrat Ruben Gallego has been elected Arizona's first Latino U.S. senator, defeating Republican Carrie Lake. His win continues a Democratic shift in a state once solidly Republican since Trump's 2016 election, although Trump won Arizona over Kamala Harris this year. Ukrainian President Zelensky met Tuesday with new ambassadors from Greece, Albania, Japan and Egypt who presented their credentials and held separate talks. This followed ahead of U.S. Secretary of State Blinken's urgent Ukraine discussion with NATO and EU officials. An explosion at a natural color plant in Louisville injured 11 employees who were hospitalized. The blast shattered windows and damaged nearby buildings. Footage showed the plant's center burned and partially collapsed. The cause is yet to be asserted. Now, in the world of cricket, the men in blue are sweating it out in the nets ahead of tonight's third T20 international against South Africa with the four-match series level at 1-1. Tonight's match holds a major significance for Surya Kumar Yadav's side. Meanwhile, a former Indian pace... Uh, Munaf Patel has joined Delhi Capitals ahead of the 2025 edition of the Indian Premier League. Patel played 70 ODIs for India and picked 86 wickets during that time. He was also part of India's 2011 World Cup winning side. And KL Rahul has expressed excitement for the upcoming IPL mega auction, saying he would be thrilled to return to Royal Challengers of Bangalore and play at Chinnaswamy Stadium again after leaving Lucknow Super Giants. Rahul says he is eager to join a team where he is respected and loved.